true, I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit. Heard they were forming a dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Rift. The winking skeevers got warm beds and up my cell. Me. You look like Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. I'm so glad Victoria and Asgir chose a public oh, reception. Oh, I know enough. That way the entire city can share in their only bond. Stormcloaks refuse. A marriage of both love and Imperial political authority. advantage. Such a seditious behavior. Why, it's treason. And oh, did know, you miss the ceremony? Your beloved Cyrodiil. And everyone took up arms against them. I'm just here to provide protection for His Eminence's cousin. Please, enjoy yourself. Being old's not so bad. Victoria! No! Someone do something! No! The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! Victoria! No! The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Unfortunately, in your zeal, you failed to eliminate Vici while she addressed her guests as directed. I'm sorry, but your bonus is forfeit. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. <laughs> Dear sister, I've been waiting for you. 
Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands are Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Too much. 
be fine. Make yourself useful and chop up some fire. I know you will. There's a few the coins in it for you. Remember everything I said. Stay alert. And when you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. You're doing your duty and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to me. You hear? Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. I'll see you soon. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. Lucky hit.
You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart woman. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. At last, I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know, as does Astrid. You have done well and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero has been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Try to relax, Vizara. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. You're back. Good. You'll want to hear this. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it. This never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know, but we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with... Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Bested by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, 
I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. Damnable jester. Should've figured Astrid would send you. Ugh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little Chester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would've followed it, but I don't know the phrase. Alright, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood.
Our mother, hmm? <laughs> for she's your mother too, isn't she? Listener, walk away. And now we come to the end of our play. <sighs> Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Cephas will judge us both.
Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. But to be outnumbered... There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astra told you about the Gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the Gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markov. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and <laughs> you've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the Gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Moran. I have 
have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then... ...came here. I am not a rich man. Who are you? What do you want? The... the Gourmet? Never! I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagog Gronolobe. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Don't mind the dogs. They get anxious when they haven't had dinner. Just let me be.
Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. What? The Emperor? But I... I... Oh. Oh, by the gods. No. No, no, you can't do this. You can't! Need something? The shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient ah, tradition. You must be by From another venture on the ship. But to be outnumbered, twenty. So one. the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now, you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Oh, good to see you, sister. Gearing up to kill the Emperor? So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Oh, I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge. Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. 
Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Meade has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable, cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death, so don't even think about it. Kill well, and often. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made nerve strikes me. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Vista. The city is crawling with Imperial Legion, and you know what? I'm still nervous. I'm lazy and useless. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet! I... I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. I'm, you're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You misunderstand, it's just... another delivery. I told the gourmet. Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Hmm. You're a Nord? I never would have guessed it. But where in the world did you learn to cook like that? Here in Skyrim? Or maybe somewhere less... Oh, well, huh. actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. you. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Ah, of course. I suspected as much. Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it?
Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Aren't you even the least bit nervous after everything that's happened? You mean the wedding? My cousin's apparent murder? And an unfortunate misunderstanding. Call me hot tempers. These things happen. Quite. Yet that recent business with the young officer of the Barrow was a... How dreadful. The son of your commander plotting your assassination. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. You're in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial, as I'm sure. You'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah. The potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... The gourmet and the chef have poisoned the Emperor! Get them! What? No, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. Huh? That man was, by oh. far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead, but I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her and make sure there's nothing left to bury. and come quietly. By the order of the Jarl. Stop right there. Smart woman. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course.
you hear something? Devil, I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more pull. Yeah, there. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. 
You must speak with Astrid. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! Sorry, the Penitus Oculatus. M Mero, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, my Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Uh, yes. I set you up. I wanted you dead. I betrayed you, the Night Mother, and everything I hold dear. And now, Mero has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, to stay the way they were. <clears throat> before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before... you... I thought I could save us. I was wrong, but you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... Uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill... me. Thank you. is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family 
together. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean... You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... Hmm. <laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say, then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet that bet and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. Imperials, storm clothes. I don't care who's in charge around here. I can find money. Yeah. I'm commander of the guard now. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. You... you're alive! But I had heard... your sanctuary! Please, you mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead! The true Emperor! I still do! It was Morrow! He... You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still... honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Cataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Ah, <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude docks conducting the Emperor's departure. Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. Oh, 
That's the last one. All right, enough of this. Is someone there? What was that? Thought I heard something. And once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told you, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. But of course, you and I have a date with destiny, but so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me, and I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So? I ask of you a favor, <laughs> an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for the treachery. Once you've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Thank you. 
Now, on to the business at hand, I suppose, hmm? Someone there. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people around. Aha! You're back. I know, I know! I received the news not moments ago. Ha-ha! This is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Your payment awaits. And don't worry, I'm not stupid enough to betray you. Your payment awaits. And don't worry, I'm not stupid enough to betray you. But we had a deal! There was a great battle here in Whiterun. It was quite thrilling. It was close.
I wasn't born in Skyrim, but when I served... Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Ha! Clearly, we should have killed that old bastard years ago. Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family.